this is about kind of growing up on the hilltop uh, in the in the 30s, in the late 30s, middle 30s. Uh, when I was uh, when I was uh, five years old in the fall of 1934, my mother took me to John Burroughs School on Sullivan Avenue at the corner of uh, Burgess and Sullivan to get me started to school that fall. And uh, they wouldn't take me in school because I was too young. My sixth birthday was not until January and at that time, they had uh, uh, mid mid year classes, one A and one B, or one B and one A, whatever it was, and uh, then that meant that I wouldn't graduate from high school until January of 1947. And I actually graduated from West High in January of, or in June of 1946. But for some reason unknown to me, my mother wanted me to start to school. She felt that I was ready and she probably wanted to get me out of the house. At any rate, they shipped me off to my grandmother's house down in uh, Pike County near Waverly, Ohio. And there was a one room schoolhouse about 150 yards from where they lived up, up the road. It was a, a township school, and at that particular time, every township was responsible for a, their own one to eight grade schools. And so they shipped me down there in September, and I started to school, and my school teacher's name was Catherine Glenn, and she lived right across the road. She was a maiden lady, and lived right across the road with her daddy on a farm, and she was the teacher at this school. And I would walk down through the garden and down near the road next to the little creek that ran through there and walk to school every day and walk home for lunch. I was able to walk to Grandma's house for lunch. And then we had, uh, then we had all eight grades in one room. And, and of course I was listening to what was going on in some of the other grades. And uh, I would come home to uh, grandma's house and spout off what they were talking about in the fifth grade and the sixth grade and the seventh grade. And uh, then in December at Christmas time, my folks came down and took me home with my grade card and marched me over to John Burroughs School and started me to school in the first grade and in the uh, in January and I, I ended the first grade then in June and I was uh, half a year ahead of all my classmates. Um, we uh, at that particular time lived on South Powell Avenue, 446 South Powell Avenue and later then in 1937 my dad and mother purchased a five-acre homestead on Harrison Road at 2495 Harrison Road. And we moved out there and I went then to Skidmore School on North Hague Avenue uh, through, the six, through the end of the sixth grade. And then when we moved back in town because my dad had to live in town uh, working for the city of Columbus, uh, then I was able to start to uh, West Junior High in the fall of 1940. My little sister was born in uh, October of 1940, so I was able to bring my schoolmates home from West Junior High and show my little baby sister. What was school like in that time period? What was it like going to school any different than it is now? Oh, I'm sure it's a much, much different. You have, uh, you have parents that are more involved. You have teachers that are probably more involved. You have a, you have a different, uh, uh, no television, yeah. no, no, uh, no little league. We, 
we played in the alley and did the best we could with what we had. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'm struggling to come up with more things to talk about after I told that story. No, I like I like that the whole notion of you know what what it was like to get yourself into school. That's that's pretty. Yeah, that was quite a story. Yeah. I know. Um, I can remember vividly the, the fall of 1934 and the winter of 1935. It was so bitter cold oh. in that, that winter. And I know I was, I think I was one of two people that showed up for school one day. And I remember the picture on the front of the dispatch showed a steam locomotive that had been superimposed over Buckeye Lake. Yeah. Oh. Buckeye Lake had frozen thick enough that it would support a big steam locomotive. That's pretty cool. And I remember I remember that picture being in the in the dispatch. Um, I think we did a lot more <clears throat> pardon me, a lot more neighboring in those days. Uh, it takes a town to raise a kid and or it takes a a neighborhood to raise a kid and mm -hmm. you knew if you got in trouble why your mom and dad was sure going to find out about it sooner or later yeah. you might as well fess up 